Hello, my name is Jerry. I like to make props and costumes, and welcome to my channel. Right, so I think the first thing I'm going to build is, if I can find it, is this. I made a little blueprint of it. Throw it up in hands, if you know what it is. Give me a show. Right, so. What do I need to do first? Brain no work, brain no work, brain no work. So I made this little cardboard thing just from the handle. I think what I'll do is draw it out, which I already have done. Can you come in here? And all the work's done. So what I need to do is... We're going to try and cut this out, and then I'll slap a bit of maybe 10 mil foam or something on top of it. Sand it down. I'm gonna make it like a little rounded handle, at least rounded off at the corners. And then we're gonna put it in here. So I tried to do this with a knife last time. Cutting out a handle for um for this shock. For this shock. And I was using a knife and I had to snap bits off and fight, it was a nightmare. So no, not doing that again. I'm going to try do this bad boy. Make it easier, make life easier on myself. Not the life's so as it is. There's going to be a lot of beeping during this. A lot. I do have a Dremel here, but the wife's asleep, and if I make too much noise, I'll be killed. Of course, she works well at our shift, so she kind of deserves a bit of a nap. But today is Friday. Star Trek. At a certain amount of time of the day, then you can watch Star Trek. Lord. Need a hill <laughs> so we're going to try and kind of glue it off centre a bit, and then maybe the I want to sand me rod as well. <laughs> Paint and glue will stick better. I'm a 42 year old child. Now what I might do, which is a tip I've learned from Odin, watching Odin videos, I make videos, which the man is a god in my mind. If you overcut these pieces and then glue them on, then cut off the excess. That way you're not, like it's really hard to line up if you cut it exact, you might be off, you might push it out, and once it's glued on, it ain't coming off. So if you over size these, you can cut off the excess, and then just use a little bit of sandpaper. It's one of the best tips I've, fucking, I've got on this thing, like, really, really is. Right. And I'm using scrap foam at the moment, because I am cheap, and I'm broke. 
So, even though I'm saying straight up and down, sometimes you wander a little bit. As you know, I'm telling you to overcut it, and I was just about to cut it exact. So my brain works. Overcut these pieces. No, they don't have to be exact. Keep these bits, just keep little bits of glue and stuff. So, these bits need to be glued on to. Maybe if I do it that way. Yeah, oh god, Jerry, you are a big genius. And then if I glue them on like that. Contact Smith. I can't smell it because my nose is banjaxed. But I can breathe it. So. trying to give you tips and tricks and do it wrong myself. <laughs> Deadly. <sighs> Nearly choking to death before you start filming. Lovely. Worst things first, tea. Right, so I stepped away from the project for a couple of days. Mainly because the body of it <coughs> was driving me mad. I couldn't get it right, I didn't know what I was doing. I tried a few different patterns, which, one which I filmed, and you know, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna show you that because it was garbage. You know, but um, I had another idea, let me show you. I found this. Just uh, the back of the sofa, forgot all about it. Thought, you know what, half of this might make a good pattern. You can you know obviously heave uh, form it and make it a little bit better. So I made a pattern, draw it on the cardboard, let's see if it works. We'll give it a go. <coughs> if this one doesn't work, then we got mad. Right now I am just I'm transfer that onto uh, a little bit of cardboard I have. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just use that. Good old Amazon envelopes are handy for making patterns. That'll do you. Pattern matcher. Handy AF. <coughs> right, let's see. This probably won't be enough because I didn't really measure it, but. Let's do my best. There's also a natural curve in it. So I'm trying to make a few on the natural curve. They help me with. The thing I use Boyros a lot of time for drawing patterns. I mean, you can use sharpies and markers and stuff. A lot of time the paint will bleed through, or it'll bleed through the paint. Uh, laying that the hard way. Boyros don't really bleed through. Pencils don't either, but <coughs> I don't like using pencils. I don't have a good reason why I don't like using pencils. I just don't. I love this one. It's CF100. I probably said that already. From Polyprops. In a wonder phone, cheaper phones. Um, I just do basic craft phone, that's the cheapest. But I find if you want to get good quality details, go for like the CF100 or up. Holds firmer. The craft phone is good, but it's too soft and it, it doesn't hold a lot of detail and all. 
be good for learning. So like, you're not wasting lots of phone. Uno, dos, and tres. Now what I need to do is key form them. Because it's ticker form, I am going to need to key form it a lot more than like say five mil. Just because this is so dense, it needs a good bit of key form. Oh no way. I can already tell it's barely even warm. There we do. Right. Now, it is time I have this new glue be jigger. We're going to try to give it a go. Mm. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't even know if it's any use, but. Give it a go. Mm. It's working. Mm. Oh, what did I do? I did the ball. This one I'm annoyed with. It's a big blob of contact cement that didn't dry. Oh, see my line alignment mark didn't line up, so to speak. <laughs> Jesus chair. Symmetrical mirrors. So I don't know whether to just cut out the other bit. <laughs> You'll see better stuff from me throughout this. It's not really a good force video. Stupid a cap at the back down in the field. Get off. Look at this. There we go. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. My brain is telling me, just give up. Do something that's easier that you know you can do. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. I think I'm going to set this thing aside. Let all the glue dry on it. Do a bit of sanding. I'm going to just Pop, pop that thing off, I'm gonna glue it onto here like this. Glue it in, I know these seams are wrecked, but I don't know how to fix them. I've tried it, I've put super glue in, they keep coming apart. So I'm just gonna sand them and fill them. That shouldn't be too bad. Put a bit around here, get the circle bits in there, I'm gonna put in like this. I'm gonna cut them around that shape. One in there, that one's too small, so. And then I'll do another one for here at the front. Thank <laughs> you. 
You watch Odin makes videos. He's always talking about how he has a tendency to make things bigger than they're supposed to be. This is a case of that today. <laughs> it's made it way bigger than it's supposed to be. And you know what? I don't care. This is a bit of crack. Having a bit of fun. It, uh, it works. It's fine. It does the job. I've been alright with it. Ugh. See what it looks like just maybe with a bit of pressure fit. <laughs> it's even better. I don't know what's going on here, but Jesus, it's even better. No, like I, I make props a lot, and I tend to give most of them away. Just, you know, because I can and lose the space. And I know some people appreciate them. Some of my friends will appreciate the props a lot. I ain't giving this away when it's done. Take pride on my shelf. Hey, and away we go. Here. Right. Two things I need to make, and then throw my battery charger on the floor. I'm just going to. Now, another thing I got from Polyprops, I love this stuff. Craft filler, it's brilliant. Now, with some of the bigger ones, it might take maybe another shot, you know, two or three goes to get it because it's not very thick. But once it's on, it covers the seams, dries really quickly. So I don't have to, like like if I was using the foam, I'd be leaving that for 24 hours. Like with this, you can just leave it for a couple of hours and it dries. You can sand it, lightly sand it. If you use a high grit, it kind of pulls it off. Like, but if you use a low grit, it sands fine. plan for now is sand all this stuff down, a couple of sanding blocks, just kind of medium, low, high and then a really kind of fine one, it's 320 and then I have this, I'm going to cover this strip here, around here and then sand it and then hopefully we'll be ready to paint. Here I do the old crack here, wax on wax off. Oh, seems to be better. <laughs> Sand it side to side. Yeah. Exciting. We're getting there, you know. It's nearly done. Then I can start editing. I've got a clue how to do that. I love learning. <coughs> I think it's time to finish this bad boy off. I'm going to paint this bit orange, weather it up a bit, call it done.
psychopathic crows in the face with. What are characters about it? Soy Crow, Princess Waterface, Pibs, um, Peter Puppy, Snow. The long name of the princess or uh, queen slug for a book. God, I used to know that off my heart. Nope, not anymore. Love that show. Loved it. Oh, yeah, the fish. What was the fish dude called? Queen slug for a book. Professor Monkey Fred. <laughs> so I to forget him. Bob the Killer Goldfish. Malice the Dog, Peter Puppy, the Anti Fish, Grim Reaper. There was an episode where there was like the opposites, I think. The good the cat was, or evil the cat was, good the cat. And Professor Monkey for a head was Monkey Professor Fred. <laughs> oh man. Queen Pulsating. Oh Jesus, stop it. Queen pulsating bloated festering sweaty puss filled malform slug for a ball. <laughs> oh god. As I said before, I usually give away my props, but will not be giving this away. I absolutely love it. But want to make this for years. You know, and what a prop to build for your very first YouTube video. Now I'm going to continue on making stuff. I have Started to make a Batman cosplay. It's a medieval Batman cosplay for Dublin Comic Con in August. I'm going to continue to make that. Let me give you a. This is what I'm talking about. It's a bracer. I've already made this and a few other bits and bobs. So I think the next video, I've only made one of these. So the next video, I'm going to make another one of these for my other room. Show you how I did it, I still have the patterns. Next week, well, <laughs> next week, could be weeks and weeks and weeks at this stage, where I get the stuff. But if you liked the video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. If there's anything you want me to make or you think I can make, just put it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Good luck. Look at this. <laughs> Super glue. I tried to cut it off now. Tell me, man, you peel a knife. Peel a knife? Peel an orange. Peel a knife. What the hell is wrong with you?